Hello, welcome to Straw Family Farm, take two. I'm Christy. So this week is probably going to be pretty short. Um, a lot of different things going on, but just not a lot of crafty. So, um, we're going to start within the chapel. But I will restore your health and heal your wounds, declares the Lord. Jeremiah 30, 17. You will find out why that's the verse of this week for me and it'll become clear so we're gonna move right on into totally hooked i have nothing totally done um i'm gonna make it pretty short the only two things that i've worked on well i worked on it but not very much um is this uh that's a gray yarn bee that i had on the wheel last week and then i worked on my kit and I hate to say it, but it's just getting longer. That's, <laughs> here's the bottom. It just keeps getting longer. So, it you can't really measure it in progress. I've done maybe this much. Um, I don't know how many rows because you just get to where you repeat the pattern over and over. So, um, I think I've done maybe two color changes. So, mm, that much. I know it doesn't look like it on camera. Um, there's just nothing. The one thing that I have been working on, and let me move right over here, is this. And it is getting quite long, as you can see. Um, I only have, and this is that yarn B too. So I have just this little much to go. So, yeah, it should be done this week. Um, and, of course, I'll tie it off and all that good stuff. But, um, yeah, it's coming along quite nicely. And I really like the way it's working up. So, and it's actually longer than I thought it would be. I, I don't know why. I just thought it would be much shorter. But it, it's not, you know. So, anyway, uh Oh, I have no idea what that is. He's just... Okay. That's RJ. But those are the only things that I've been working on. As a matter of fact, I have been kind of busy, but not really, and I'm eating lunch. Mm-hmm. Normally, I record in the morning, and I haven't had time to do that. So, um, let's see here. That's really all I have in the pots. In the fields, things are growing. I mean, but they're still not big. We've had cold snaps. This year, I may just go and buy already started plants and put them in the grow tower. Unfortunately, the wind toppled my thing, my greenhouse. Um, who knows? Maybe this year, I'll just shop farmer's markets. You know, spread the love to somebody else. Um, because I just have not had time to stay on it. And, you know, if you, if you don't have time to garden, it does take time. It's not just plant them and watch them grow. So, you got to kind of baby the seeds along, get them going. Then you got to weather them so that they'll um, go out in the wind. And I just don't have that. I thought I would, but things have been a little crazy, and you're about to hear why. So, we're going to go on into, in the, into RJ's world. For those of you who haven't followed us, you know, we have more people starting to follow us. We have less people, you know, for different reasons. Um, Coop, our prized horse. We have several great horses. She is top of the t line. Um, she won the CWRA Calf Roping Horse of the Year for 2019, right before COVID hit. So, um... If you remember way back, we took her to the vet a couple years ago and thought that she had what was called sarcoids. So the vet advised us, we put this medicine on it, um, it went away. We were like, cool beans. Well, it's back. So the first vet just looked at it. And didn't do a biopsy or anything because he felt if it was sarcoids cutting into it 
would actually make them multiply. Oh, sorry, hitches. Hitch. Hey. Um, would make it worse and make them multiply and, and grow bigger and all that kind of stuff. So, um, we didn't opt to do a biopsy. Well, they came back and she was coming up lame. So, uh, we did take her into a different vet. He didn't think it was sarcoids. He said, there, there's just something telling me, he says, it feels different. And he says, I don't think it's sarcoids. And he says, I could be wrong, but I don't know. And without a biopsy, you're not going to know. So we had a biopsy and we were scared we made the wrong um, decision because if it had been sarcoids, um, it could have been, oh my gosh, my hair is like, oh. it's in my face first off and it's raining and anyway, uh, so if it had been sarcoids, it could have made the situation a lot worse. So they sent the biopsy off. And in layman's terms, it came back that she had, and even the pathologist from K-State said that it was an interesting biopsy. Does that mean that he hasn't seen this before? Is it a little different? We're not sure. But basically, he's saying it's an infection, and hers is on her shoulder right here where you girth her, her girth runs and you cinch her up. Um, so... Uh, they said it, it's a infection between the muscle and the skin. They believe they can go in and cut the entire thing out and it should not return. Now, with that being said, we're, once they cut that out, I'm not going to waste this chance. I'm going to have it sent off for the whole thing to be biopsied. I want to make sure there's no mass in there, there's no cancer in there, there's no anything. And that's why um, this is what I'm clinging to. I will restore you to health and heal your wounds, declares the Lord. I believe that God cares about every living, breathing animal on this planet. And humans are animals, okay? I believe He cares not just about our souls, but about every life, and He never wants a life wasted. So, um, we are praying for healing but what does this mean <laughs> this means that coop has to go for surgery they're going to do it with her standing now the the risk of her going under anesthetic is super super high animals are not meant to be under anesthetic for very long horses are not meant to lay for very long there have been horses that go under anesthetic that never stand back up if that's the case, they pass away. You know, they, they just don't. So they're going to give her a local and they're going to do surgery with her basically dopey enough that she's not feeling any pain. She's not anything, you know, that she'll be calm and she's not, but she's not going to be knocked out because knocking her out increases the uh, chances of complications. Okay, so um, we will be having surgery on Coop, and then we will be sending that biopsy, the whole mass for biopsy, um, back up to K State. So we are, I don't want to say worried, we're concerned, we're praying everything goes well, and if it goes like the vet thinks it's going to go, she's going to be 100% sound. Um, she will have to, we'll have to pack her wound. She's not even going to stay overnight. We will be packing her wound. Um, she'll have a hole where that mass used to be. And they can't stitch it because of where it's at. It will actually tear and make it worse. So they're going to leave it round, leave it open. We will pack it. We will clean it every day. She will be stalled in the barn. Um, the best of care, uh, cleaned either two or three times, depending on what the vet decides. Um, so my hair is really irritating me today. It looks so pretty. And then I went outside 
<laughs> and it's raining. So anyway, uh, yeah, that's going on. And that is a big chunk of my mental state right now. So we've got that going on. Uh, I think that's the only thing in RJ's world that's really rocked. Um, just roping. Right now, today, he was delivering a bull or something or um, cattle for somebody else because it's raining out. Can't really ride horses or anything like that. So um, he's got some outside horses he's still working on and all that good stuff. So anyway, in the farmhouse... Um, yeah, this one's hard. So, I have a girlfriend that back when we were raising our children, we used to do things together. Like, there was three of us that hung out. Um, one lady had two sons. One, uh, my girlfriend that I'm about to talk about has had four children. And I had two. So we'd get together at Christmas and we'd take a whole afternoon and we'd only destroy one house to make Christmas cookies. And all the kids would be around. They'd be decorating and they'd put their favorite, you know, and we'd all bring stuff from our kitchens and call it, hey, I went to Sam's, got a big old bag of Nestle morsels. Okay, then I don't need to get those, but I'm going to make those peanut butter bars. Um, oh, I got a big jar of peanut butter too. Okay, well, so we'd gather up all the ingredients from all our houses and come to one house. Sometimes it was at Patsy's, sometimes at mine, just wherever, whatever worked out. Um, the men would come through and just taste test. So would the kids. Let's face it. So would the kids. And then we'd end the evening with hot chocolate or eggnog. And the kids would decorate sugar cookies with, we'd have sprinkles and frosting and all this after we'd made like a ton of cookies. I think every kid there would go to bed with a bellyache because they ate too much dough or too many cookies. So, and we'd make like a big old pot of chili for dinner. But it was like an all day event and the kids loved it. Well, her oldest son, Patsy's oldest son, the one that had four children, um, had a seizure and he passed away he's only four years older than my daughter that was heart-wrenching then as all y'all know I started a new job so I really couldn't take off it's not family I have been um, texting her and talking to her every night uh, Carrie the other girl that was with us and when we did these things and hang out you know our kids just kind of grew apart over time but we all still keep in touch and we still call each other best friends um, but Carrie told them that I had started a new job and that I wasn't going to be able to be there so um, Carrie went and it just takes a lot out of you we're not supposed to bury our kids he wasn't mine but he grew up with mine like he was in and out of my house his her kids were a little bit older and would babysit Tori you know um just so that Tori wasn't by herself because she was a little on the young side or a little bit and I I don't know why did it happen? I don't know. But anyway, he had a seizure and he passed away and his funeral was this week. And so I've been preoccupied with that. Um, we're doing taxes. That's preoccupied my time. Um, all kinds of stuff. Just work. We have a lady that had to go and have oral surgery and I covered her shifts. It's just been nothing that you can't handle. But piled in all of this, coop surgery, a death, oral surgery, having to cover for a friend, taxes, I can't even think what else, you know, just everything. It's just life. Hey, Hitch. It's just life. And it's nothing you can't handle, but piled on it, it really does tax you mentally. So, that's never a good thing. Add into the fact that I have been watching YouTube 
for comments from our winner from the first giveaway, which we've had none. Um, we have been checking email so that, you know, we can hear from her. So yeah, we have an unclaimed prize and you know me, I'm not holding it forever. So this week I went ahead and did the drawing. Now I did it with number generator. I don't have RJ to do the fancy little, let's pull a name. And I just went in, there was 12 entries, I think. Anyway, the random number was seven. And if you count seven up, uh, or seven down, I can't remember which way I went. Anyway, Teresa Knitting Dancer or Dancer Knitting? I'm pretty sure you know who you are. These belong to you now. So, please email me. I will make sure that I will put my email in instead of the other ones. I'm going to put mine in. Please email me directly and I will get this in the mail to you. Um, I am going to hold on to the other kit. I, I was going to add it in with this, but knitting and crochet are very different and most people prefer one over the other. If she was entering for knitting needles, she probably may not want the crochet. So. We will do something with that kit as another giveaway and I'll combine it with something. I don't know what yet, but we will do it. So yeah, those are the two knitting giveaway. The crochet, this is the knitting. I said I was gonna do something spinning. I haven't even had time to think about it. I know how I want you to enter, but I don't know what I'm gonna gift you or put up as a prize, whatever, however you wanna say it. So we're going to hold off one week and it's just because I have so much on my mind and just trying to get through this whole thing with Coop. We want her healthy and sound, but here's the thing. There's a reason you've never seen a three legged horse and that is because they cannot survive. They can't their body mass is too big. They can't compensate for not having another limb. So, you know, it, that wound is up on her shoulder. And we are praying. And, and we ask that all y'all join us that it is what they think it is on the biopsy. And that the whole mass is just like the biopsy. See, that's the problem is to take the biopsy from the top, but that mass goes in deeper and until it's removed, you can't see what's behind there. So we are super, super, super praying. That's all it is. So um, I'm a worry wart. You guys know that. These are my babies. Okay. It might be a, a cat or a dog to you guys, but it's a cat and a dog. It's a, a living, breathing thing to me. So, which brings us to our next fiasco. Poor Hitch here. Hitch, you can come say hi. Come here. Come here. He's on the other side. Come here. Come here. Get over here. I'm trying to figure out. Get up. Come on. He's down. He's underneath the desk. He's under my leg. Get over here. There he is. There's a little Hitch. Let's see if we can do this without without you guys seeing too <laughs> much of just my legs hitch he's going and hiding okay there he is there he is so this is hitch you guys remember him he is um the one that we were fostering i guess you'd call it but um anyway yeah uh the gentleman has never come back for him i was supposed to keep him for a couple of months yeah it's been <laughs> almost a year <laughs> almost over a year I don't think he's coming back for him so Hitch has some issues and one of them one of the things that is his issue is the storms now I'm laughing because I haven't had a lot to laugh about this week okay I've tried to keep a, a good you know thing and I so I bought Hitch a thunder jacket 
I have heard they work amazingly well. So, okay, last night it was raining, Hitch was all worked up, and I thought, oh, probably gonna storm. So I bought this thunder jacket, and thunder jackets, if you don't do cats or dogs, you don't know, but, and I'm pretty sure most of the people that watch here are animal lovers, but, um, yeah, so this is just a little jacket, and their little head goes through here, and these wrap around their belly, and this wraps around his chest, okay, so this is his little jacket and it's supposed to fit snug but not unbreathable so I got one that's jersey you know I didn't want it too tight so I got one that was jersey and I got a medium oh no I got an extra large nope I got a medium medium and I was thinking I probably should have gotten a large but it fit just right okay these velcro things were down here at the bottom though so and I mean it gets pretty big if you take these and put them down like so which is how it fits hitch um yeah it gets huge see so I had it on him and he wasn't really used to it and so um it was a little bit of a struggle to get it on him which he's never been dressed before so that's not I mean, I understand it. He left me. He knows I'm talking about him. Hitch, quit barking. I don't know what he's barking at. Um, so, I put it on him. And like I said, it took a little skill and sweet talking. And literally, he fell over. He was standing there. I got it on him. Got it all situated. And he just fell over. And I said, Hitch, what is the matter with you? So, I helped him stand back up. And he fell over. And I was like, what is the problem? So, roommate says, maybe you have it too tight. So, I checked and I could slide my hand. I used the principle of the collar. You know, you want to be able to get two fingers in the collar. I can get my hand up the whole way around his body, but it does. It's that jersey kind of material, so it kind of looks snug and it kind of feels snug, which is from what I hear on Thunder Jackets, that's what you want. So, um... I'm sitting there, I can't do anything but laugh because he just falls over. And then I tried to make him stand up and I was like, Hitch, stand up, stand up. He literally was dragging himself. He'd put his back legs up and drag himself like some kind of army crawl. Like he couldn't walk with this thing on. He could, he just wouldn't. So he army crawls over to roommates where roommate sitting and puts his butt on roommate's feet and literally tries to climb up roommate's lap at this point we're both busting up just cracking up because all he'll do is fall over and crawl around he won't stand up so I have to admit I laughed so hard that tears came to my eyes and after about 15, 20 minutes of watching this, I could no longer take it. <laughs> um, roommate could no longer take it. And roommate actually looked at Hitch and said, Hitch, is mama being mean to you? And I said, I'm not being mean to him. Anyway, so I removed the thunder jacket and we have vowed we are not putting that on Hitch anymore. Because I will not survive. I will be in stitches um, he never did figure out that he could walk in it. I tried like picking him up and putting his, and he just fall over. <laughs> I don't know why or what that thing does to him, but apparently he doesn't think he can stand, walk, or do anything. And a belly crawl is about all he can muster to get away from me. <laughs> so... Um, I've got a friend at work that has some dogs that are about that size. I'm just going to give it to her and say, here, if you need it. You know, she doesn't have to use it as a thunder jacket. She can just use it as a jacket jacket, and she dresses her dogs. So, you know, that will go there. But it was a source of amusement for me. Probably, because I'm stressed, it's probably more amusement to me than it should have been. Because I... I mean, tears were coming down my face. My sides were hurting. My face was hurting from laughing so much. I was just like, 
roommate told me I was cruel. I was like, I just put a thunder jacket. It's supposed to be calming. No. Neither Hitch nor roommate found it amusing. Actually, roommate did laugh. It was amusing. Okay, just saying. And he's back. See, he's acting like it's going to storm again. He's running out there, laying down, then he'll run in here, and he wants Mama's hand. And that's what he does. And I thought the thunder jacket would help him. And so, not if he doesn't think he can move in it. So, yeah. Hey, dude, my chair. He likes to get in small corners when there's thunder. That's why he keeps trying to get under the desk is because I'm in here, and that's where he likes to hide when he's um, in here. But, yeah, it, it it was so funny, but, I mean, it wasn't meant to be. It, it was pathetic, okay? So, poor Hitch. That's all I can say is poor Hitch. Um, yeah. <laughs> anyway, I'm sorry I don't have more progress on things, but as you can tell, my life is a little bit crazy right now. Um, I'm going to get back on track. Uh, I definitely want to get that finished this week. I have been working on it. Um, and then I'm going to get back to, um, for those of you who are Mary Maxim's crochet or knit, they switched over to a different computer system or a different software. I'm not sure what they switched over, but those kits for this month have not been sent out yet. So they should be coming around the end of the month. Um, they had a little bit of growing pains it's supposed to be a better system for them which I get so I've been in contact with them and uh, because if you remember last time they sent me to that's how we have the giveaway one um, and then this month I hadn't gotten one and they were like mm, yeah well we have some system glitches and they have withheld sending them out so that they don't have mistakes they said let's not double do again this month so they're double checking everything getting all their ducks in a row and it'll go out later this month so which is fine um i haven't finished that one anyway right so all right i'm gonna get off of here welcome to the craziness of my life sorry it's not more crafty but yeah it will be next week i promise talk to you later bye